Nearly 5,000 sailors are all home tonight. USS Dwight D. Eisenhower, USS Philippine Sea, and USS Gravely arrived safely at Naval Station Norfolk this morning after a nine-month deployment. Emily Harrison has the moment families finally laid eyes on their loved ones. After nine long months, families could not contain their joy as they waited on the pier for their sailors and loved ones to come back home. I'm waiting for the best I am for in the nation. That's my family. I don't have friends on board. I have family on board. Then it finally happened. USS Philippine Sea and USS Gravely pulled into Naval Station Norfolk first. Those waiting gave hugs, kisses, and met family members, sometimes for the first time. Her niece, she's never met her. Absolutely proud of her. We're very proud of her. Very proud of everything she's done. We're proud of the whole ship. Minutes later, USS Dwight D. Eisenhower pulled in. Secretary of the Navy Carlos del Toro outlined the dangerous mission these men and women completed as Navy leaders extended the deployment twice because of the conflict between Hamas and Israel. And they have seen actions that we have not seen against the United States Navy and against merchant uh, mariners as well, too. This deployment recorded the Navy's first air-to-air -air kill of a hostile unmanned aerial vehicle and completed more than 10,000 aircraft launches and recoveries. Sailors say the experience changed them. Uh, we all pushed through it. We all banded together as shipmates and sailors, and we got through it. We made it home. So. Just happy to be on the some sailors raced off the ship in order to make it to their child's birth. Others held their children close following the long months apart. Navy leaders say they know these sailors have gone through a lot and could not be prouder of them. I cannot tell you how many lives they saved, how many civilian lives, and they saved many. But I can't say I have never been more honored to serve with such a fine group of warriors in my entire life. They proved that the Mighty Ike, the carrier Airway 3, is indeed the best damn ship in the Navy. Emily Harrison, 13 News Now. Welcome back. According to Admiral Daryl Caudill, they will continue to keep tabs on these sailors as they settle back into everyday life. They say to reach out if you are experiencing any mental health troubles.